Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming with the newest palette from Viseart. I would usually pass on something like this, but I've been loving Viseart lately and when they launched this cute little Paris Etoilette palette, I just wanted to get my hands on it, especially because I've had such a good experience with the brand so far. And I'm also doing Harrismas this year, so trying to post a video every day up until Christmas. So I hope you guys are enjoying things so far. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on my channel. I love new eyeshadow palettes. I love swatching them for you, giving you guys my thoughts and everything in between. So if that sounds interesting to you, highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I'm really, really excited to play with this little palette today. It's definitely more of a cool tone palette and it's got some grungy shades to it. Now I did pick this up during their Black Friday sale, so I believe I paid $24 for this. I also recently did a video where I played with their Petite palettes and this is what those palettes look like. So everything is rather tiny as far as these palettes are concerned. Okay, visually this palette looks like it has smaller pans, but according to the sticker back here, it says that this contains 0.28 ounces and this one contains 0.21 ounces. So there is a slight difference in the amount of product each palette contains. This has a 35 month shelf life. I'm so blind, I can't see, I can't see it. But anyway, I've already done a video on these ones, so if you haven't seen it, highly recommend checking it out. And I very recently also posted a video on these two palettes, which were the first to launch in the fall time. I feel like they've launched a bunch of new stuff recently, so just wanted to cover all of that with you guys. So let's go ahead and swatch this so I can create an eye look with this palette. It's so teeny tiny. And I kind of love it because I think this would be perfect for just throwing in your makeup bag, of course. That shade I just swatched was basically lighter than my skin tone. It's like a powder shade. I will say I feel like the Viseart eyeshadows do a better job on your eyes upon application than they swatch, which it's always good to keep that in mind. Okay, so here are the swatches of the eight shades in this palette. We have four mattes and four metallic shades, and it's definitely a very grungy palette and very cool toned. Not exactly my cup of tea as far as shades go, but I've been into some different things lately, so I'm very, very excited about this color story. Let's see what I can do with this because I am definitely nervous. So I'm gonna take this brush from Unicorn Cosmetics. I'm gonna go into the neutral shade first, and we're just gonna lay that on the crease and kind of go from there, see what we can do. Okay, so next I think I'm gonna use the purple shade and I'm gonna put that on the crease. I'm gonna start on the outer corner because it looks like it's such a dark shade. This is like almost a black purple. Ooh, I'm just gonna dip into the blue and the purple. I'm just gonna use both of those shades on the outer corner and like mix them. Okay, so now that I have that dark shade established, I'm gonna grab a clean pencil brush. I'm gonna go into that neutral shade that I put in my crease and blend the dark shade inward. And then I'm gonna go back into that dirty brush and go into this gray shade. And I'm just gonna pounce that on the outer corner as well, just to give it more depth. Okay, I think that's good. And then for shimmer shades, I definitely wanna use kind of the lighter shades because I feel like I don't want this eye look to be too dark, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna grab this Manny MUA brush and go into this color right here. It's like a taupey color. And I'm definitely gonna spray it. I'm gonna start out on the outer corner. Gonna tap that because it has a ton of shimmer in it. And I'm just tapping that into the inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna take that Unicorn Cosmetics brush and just blend. And then I wanna go into the really light pink, throwing some of that on. And then I think I'm gonna take the same brush and flip it over and go into that 
sparkly black shade and just add a little bit of sparkle on the outer corner as well. This is such a pretty like New Year's Eve kind of palette. And I have to use this shade which is called DTLA from the ColourPop Liner World. Okay, I'm grabbing a little pencil brush. I'm gonna go into the blue matte. And I've really been into like creating almost like a faux cat eye with my eyeshadow, but I think I'm gonna try and not do that today. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the neutral shade and just do the front half of the lower lash line. Perfect, and then I'm gonna go into this pinky shade and coat the brush. Give it a nice spray. Okay, so the lower lash line is done as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on, put on a lip, and I'll be right back to give you guys my thoughts on this palette. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I did throw on a bit of a wing just to make this look even more dramatic. I was really feeling like the holiday vibes, so that's what I went for. As far as what else is on my face, the foundation I have on today is my favorite, the Urban Decay Stay Naked. I also have on the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette Blush and Highlighter from the Dark Palette. And then for bronzer, I did use the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. And my lip shade is Unearthly Cosmetics Jeanette. Oh my goodness, you guys know how much I love a poopy brown lip, so I've been wearing this one nonstop. Such a gorgeous shade. Love their new formula for the satin lipsticks. I also have a discount code if you want to use it. It's KH Makeup. So that is everything on my face. As far as these earrings, I did just get these. I will link them in my description box. And then, do you guys want me to link this necklace? It's really cute. I've been wearing it and I haven't taken it off since Freya was born. So it is water resistant. It hasn't changed color and I think it will be such a good gift for a mom out there. If you guys know any new moms or you want to get it for your own mom or your mom yourself, I bought this one for myself and it was such a great price point. So highly recommend. I also am wearing a bunch of rings. These are from a brand called Ellie Vale and I've had these rings for a while but I just got an affiliate code with them. So I did put that in my description box as well in case you guys are interested. I will make a small commission for all of those purchases. So thank you so much in advance for doing that for me. I just wanted to mention that to you guys because you guys know how much I love gold jewelry and I also love affordable jewelry so I don't like to pay a ton of money. But I love that I can keep these pieces on through the shower, through the dishes and things like that and everything works out really well. I love gold jewelry, you guys know that. Anyway, let's talk about the Viseart palette. Oh my gosh, I forgot. You guys, there's names on the sleeves. I did not realize that at all. I did use quite a few shades in the palette and I will say that the shimmer formula kind of scares me because it's very chunky but I think the final look is always a great end result when it comes to Viseart. I personally prefer my metallics to be more creamy and just kind of like slide on to the eyes. This one is more of a textured formula but it's not bad once you spray it. It tends to stick on the eye really, really well. You could also probably try it with a glitter glue, but I prefer to just use it wet because glitter glue can get messy real quick. So if I can avoid it, I would like to do so. But anyway, as far as a really cute kind of compact color story, this is gonna be it for you if you want like a nice little cool tone eyeshadow palette. I know cool tone palettes have been like all the rage, especially I think in 2020. People were really looking for cool tone palettes and I feel like all the makeup brands started delivering cool tone palettes in 2021. So this is really cute. I know Vizier also has like a all matte palette from their like original palette series that kind of has this color story. So if you own that one, Maybe you can pick this one up and kind of mix and match them or maybe you can supplement some other metallics in your collection and do a beautiful eye look. Personally, I'm not mad that I picked this up, especially with it being on sale. I mean, I saved like six bucks buying it at the sale time. I'm not sure if this is on sale anymore, but maybe they'll have a holiday sale. Not sure, but I like this. I have bought this size of palette from Viseart before and I wasn't as impressed, but I'm happy to see that this is the same good formula that I'm used to 
with the last few palettes I've purchased from them. So if you've been eyeing this, I recommend this. I think it's tan girl friendly. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me for Harrismas. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in another video tomorrow. Bye guys.